November the year 2022. In that period, a total number of 666 crashes were registered on the roads, and out of these, 292 crashes were fatal, 380 were serious, and 194 were minor. We had victims out of these crashes, and we had 632 traffic crash victims during this period. And out of these, 100 people died on the roads, and 532 sustained serious injuries. We have noted with concern that the highest contributor of these crashes is reckless driving. At least for the two weeks, it involves even reckless pedestrians. Most people have been hit on the roads because they don't know how to cross the roads. They don't know which side of the road they should be walking. So they've been hit by vehicles. Speeding has been part of the attributors to these crashes. Using handheld mobile, diverting people's attentions off the road is also a contribution. Then not respecting road signages is also the other. We urge the public to respect all road signages on the roads. Avoid using your phones while driving. Respect speed limits of the areas. Avoid inconsiderate driving. And all the pedestrians, please, mind your life when you're using the road. We walk on the right, not on the left. We don't move the way vehicles move. Move on the road facing the oncoming traffic. And when crossing the road, cross at only those designated safe places so that we don't lose you. We have an update on the ongoing motorcycle operations. We launched our motorcycle operations on 7th November this year. And today we are on the eighth day of the operation, mainly targeting crash helmets and reflective jackets. The operation has resulted into the impounding of 12,217 motorcycles in the whole country for the past six days, from 7th to 12th November 2022. And out of these, a total number of 10,167 have been issued with EPS tickets. At the station, we have 2,050 pending. The operation continues. Would like to thank the general public for their support. We equally thank the riders who have complied and we call upon those who are yet to comply to do so. If you wear the crash helmet, wear the reflective jacket, it's your own safety. We've realized that from January to September, we've lost 1,021 riders dead in road crashes. Those riders died because of the head injuries. Your head is like an egg. If you hit it on that ground, you'll not survive. So if you wear protective gear, we shall have your life. And we've lost 401 passengers, dead in nine months, still because of head crashes. So either you're a passenger or a rider, wear your crash helmet. Wear the reflective jacket for visibility. The operation is still ongoing. As announced by the Minister of Education and Sports, on the closing of the schools for third term holidays, that will take place on 25th November this year. This is a reminder to all school administrators to ensure that all school vans and buses are in good condition as they transport their children back home for holidays. Most schools are boarding schools. The vans and the buses are packed. Take them for repair. Take them for checkup. Examine those vehicles. Make sure by 25th they're in good shape as you're transporting children back home to avoid the inconveniences. Our operations on the use of saline and flashlights is still ongoing. Those who don't have a right of way and are misusing the road, pretending to have a right of way, driving recklessly on the road, the operation is still ongoing. And whoever is being got in this operation is being taken to court. We urge the public to continue observing discipline on our roads to avoid inconveniences. If you know you're driving a vehicle on the road and you've not disconnected the sirens and the flashlights, please do that. 
As others comply with the requirements, you are not above the law. Follow the same to avoid inconveniences. You'll be embarrassed. You find there are responsible people doing this in this country. So to avoid inconveniences and embarrassment, disconnect them because by law you don't have a right of way. All those operating drones as PSV tax, especially along Entebbe Road and Ginger Road, your vans don't have the license to do this. You don't have even checked bans on those vehicles. That means you're not licensed to carry passengers for a fee. We are giving you two days. By Wednesday, 16th November, we are starting our operation on these vehicles on the road. And whoever will be arrested in this operation, you'll be taken to court. No EPS ticket will be issued to anyone operating as a PSV, yet you are not licensed to do so. So we urge whoever wants to operate his drone as a PSV to go to the Ministry of Works and Transport, have your vehicle registered and licensed so that it starts operating as a PSV. Let's comply with the requirements. Every job in this country has regulation and laws. Even the PSV regulation is clear. No one shall operate a PSV except under the regulation guidelines. So go to the ministry, license your vehicles, then operate them. Minus that, we are going to arrest you and take you to court. We have road safety tips for you for this week. One, before you set off, you must hold a valid driving license for the class of the vehicle you're going to drive. If you know that your driving license doesn't have the class, that permits you to drive that particular car, please don't drive that car on the road. You're taking chances and you're risking the lives of all road users. So if you don't have a driving license that is varied and you don't have the class, don't drive on the road. The second tip we have for you is always drive more slowly on the Maram roads. Those are the nanny paved roads. Either it's raining or it's a dry season, that road is slippery. So if you don't drive carefully on them, and at a low speed, we can easily lose you on that road, because you'll not be in position to control that car in case of anything, because the road is slippery because of the stones and the surface. So we urge whoever uses the Maram road to always be slow and be careful when using that road. Do not drive over footpaths or pedestrian areas. We've seen a lot of people on the roads driving on the shoulders. So where do you want the pedestrians to pass? When there is jam, you tend to go on the shoulders. Those shoulders should be left for the pedestrians, please. Let them walk there. They have nowhere to go. So don't cover the area that they are supposed to cover. Let's respect each other when using the roads in this country. When driving on the road, never forget the sequence of the mirror, signal, and action. Let me explain this. When you're driving on the road, first look in the mirror. When you observe in the mirror that behind you, you have enough space. Behind you, no one is overtaking. Behind you, there is no obstacle. In front of you, you can see clearly. In front of you, there is no oncoming vehicle. In front of you is a clear space for you. And ahead of you, there is enough space for you. Then go ahead and use your signal. Indicate. After observing using the mirror, that's when we indicate. And after indicating, that's when we overtake. So don't forget this sequence when you're using the road. It is the mirror the signal, then the action, not the vice versa. Most people on the roads first overtake, then they indicate, then they look in the mirror. It's wrong. Let's follow the sequence for the safety of everyone using the road. You must slow down and stop at zebra crossing. Never at any one point should you park your vehicle at a pedestrian crossing point. You observe on our roads. People are coming near a zebra crossing and he's speeding. You're going to hit people on that zebra crossing. Let's respect zebra crossings. When you go at Posta Uganda, you'll be...
pissed. You feel bad. You feel ashamed when you find people have parked their vehicles on the zebra crossing. So where do you want the pedestrians to pass? On the bonnet of your car? Where do you want them to pass? Let's respect pedestrian crossing points. Don't park your car on the zebra crossing. And when you're coming near zebra crossing, please slow down. Because you may hit a person on that zebra crossing. You should never overtake in places like one, junctions. We don't overtake in junctions. We don't overtake along humps. When you're coming near humps, don't overtake. Don't overtake on humps. No. Don't overtake at the zebra crossing. We don't overtake on top of a hill. We don't overtake at a sharp bending. We don't overtake at a railway crossing. And at any other place with a prohibited sign showing no overtaking. So when you're driving on the road, respect those points I've mentioned. At the junction, we don't overtake. The zebra crossing, we don't overtake. We don't overtake at the humps. We don't overtake on top of the hill. You not see what is coming towards you. At the sharp bending, you not see anything coming towards you because it's a corner. At the railway line, we don't overtake because we are not even supposed to stop on the rail line. We should stop before. 